Council member Trey on White facing a federal bribery charge. There are questions about what that could, what could happen, I should say, with the upcoming general election in November. Why is still the Democratic nominee for Ward 8? He was arrested by the FBI on Sunday. News Force Mark Seagray spoke with the Republican facing White in November and the Democrat who came in second in the primary. Councilmember Trayon White left the federal courthouse Monday after being charged with taking bribes to steer government contracts. White's arrest comes as the Ward 8 councilman is up for re-election in November. Today, the district's Republican Party chair called on White to withdraw from the race. According to the D.C. Board of Elections, the last date for a candidate to withdraw so their name would not be on the ballot is September 12th. With White facing the possibility of a trial and prison time if convicted, there is the possibility someone could launch a write-in campaign. Salim Adafo is an advisory neighborhood commissioner in Ward 8 and ran against White in the primary, coming in second place. I asked Adafo if he would launch a write-in campaign. This is all happening so fast. We found out about it on Sunday and it's Wednesday afternoon. And so, you know, we really have to, you know, have some time to, you know, think these things through and also look at what the city's leadership, you know, is going to do as well. For now, it's up to Councilmember White whether he decides to remain on the ballot or withdraw. One man who will definitely be on the ballot is the Republican challenger, Nate Derenge. Nate Derenge. He's hoping Ward 8 voters give him a closer look now, but acknowledges any Democrat, even a write-in candidate, would be hard to beat. I know that the Democratic Party could run a very effective write-in campaign, and um, they, they have the, the population to do it. And uh, it would be it would be a close race, uh, definitely, because of their organization skills and just with the Democratic machine in Ward 8 that has been exercising for the past few decades. And so uh, if council member drops out or if he doesn't drop out, I, I still have a long road ahead of me. But um, yeah, the D.C. Ward 8 Dems could definitely Ward 8 Dems could definitely do a successful writing campaign if they so choose. In the district, Mark Seagrave. Any Democrat, even a write-in candidate, would be hard to beat. I know that the Democratic Party could run a very effective write-in campaign, and um, they, they have the, the population to do it. And uh, Population? Oh, so you got a problem with, with Black people. You got a problem with our population being so high. Man, I'm I'm running. I'm gonna go down to Ward Eight and run against this guy, man. He got a problem with black population. He don't like seeing a lot of black people, man. See, this is why we gotta keep these Republicans out of Ward Eight, man. Uh, it would be it would be a close race, uh, definitely, because of their organization skills and just with the Democratic machine in Ward Eight. Machine. Machine. So what you saying? Black people are like machines, just to work. We supposed to just work like machines. He don't even see us as human, y'all. This guy don't even see us as human beings, man. And uh, it would be it would be a close race. Uh, definitely because of their organization skills and just with the Democratic machine in Ward 8 that has been exercising for the past few decades. Exercising? All he talking about is work. All he see black people is is workers, machines, and exercising. I'm announcing my candidacy for Ward 8, man. Right in Ock Nation, man, on your ballot, man. We can't let hate into Ward 8. That's my slogan, y'all. We can't let hate into Ward 8. It's, uh, definitely because of their organization skills and just with the Democratic machine in Ward 8 that has been exercising for the past few decades. And so uh, if 
council member drops out or if he doesn't drop out, I, I still have a long road ahead of me. Drop out? Listen, man, I don't know where you're from, but all black people did not drop out of high school. All black people did not drop out of high school, man. See, this is the problem right here. This is why you need to vote our nation and write me in for, for Ward 8 Councilman, man. Because it's either me or it's this, this Trump apologist, this, this Nazi right here talking about exercising in machines and dropping out of high school. Listen, blacks have high dropout rates because of slavery and mass incarceration. Which you would know a lot about because you did it. You were behind it. Your parents. And so oh, if council member drops out or if he doesn't drop out, I, I still have a long road ahead of me. But um, yeah, the deep long road so you don't like walking through black neighborhoods so you feel like if you feel like if you feel like if you in a black neighborhood it's a long road but when you in a white neighborhood you just skip into your loo listening to your earbuds got both earbuds in not paying attention to your surroundings but when you in a black neighborhood it's a long road you got to take your earbuds out you got to keep your head on a swivel. Your heart is racing. You're nervous. Listen, man. Keep hate out of Ward 8, y'all. Keep hate out of Ward 8. Write Ock Nation in on the ballot, man. Oh, if council member drops out or if he doesn't drop out, I, I still have a long road ahead of me. But um, yeah, the D.C. Ward 8 Dems could definitely do a successful writing campaign if they so choose. In the district, Mark Seagrass, oh, News 4. If we so choose. If we so choose. So 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 you think we're lazy. OK, so, so you, you think we lack the follow through in the force of character and intestinal fortitude to see a job through to the end. They're all the same, y'all. They're all the same. In November, let's keep hate out of Ward 8, y'all. Keep hate out of Ward 8. Right in our nation. Could definitely do a successful writing campaign if they so choose. In the district, Mark Seagraves, News 4. Mayor Muriel Bowser released a statement to News 4 writing programs that impact violence interruption must